From trifolding phones to transforming laptops to robot phones, from TVs thinner than your finger, more humanoid robots, sports car looking amazing pool cleaners, and a magical mirror that tells you your health while you're looking at it. This is some of the coolest stuff we saw from CES 2026. Let's get right into it. So let's start off with Samsung. They showcased their stuff a little bit before the actual CES kicked off. So the whole setup was a full-on visual flex as expected from Samsung. The main eye-catching display was the Samsung RGB Micro LED TV. This looked pretty impressive, especially in person looking at all the colors thanks to the RGB control. You get better color accuracy and noticeably reduced glare. We also saw Samsung's transparent see-through display in person, which was one of those things that doesn't make any sense until you see it in person. And then the real crowd puller was the Galaxy Trifold. This is a one-of-a-kind foldable phone from Samsung using three-panel folding design, allowing you to shift between phones phone and proper tablet going from 6.5 inches like a normal phone to a fully unfolded display of 10 inches proper tablet glass. What really stood out is how surprisingly thin and lightweight it felt when it's fully unfolded. Like despite having three panels and multiple hinges, it didn't feel as bulky as we thought. Now right after Samsung, we had the exclusive look at the Honor robot phone, which is uh, just a model. Like the actual working model will be shown at MWC 2026. So this was just to showcase how this thing is gonna look in person. It really is a proper gimbal style camera that can track subjects on its own. It's gonna see the world and give you all the info. I wish it was actually a working demo, but for that we have to wait till MWC. Still, it was cool to see this as a model in person. Now CES is full of smart tech, but what really matters is when automation replaces effort. That's where iGarden comes into play, showing off their real power, real endurance, and real world performance across pools and lawns. First up, we have the iGarden Swim Jet X series, and yes, this is a CES Innovation Award winner. This is a fully portable, cordless swim jet. Wheels, handles, lithium powered, no fixed installation, no cables, and no hassle. But it's not just convenient, it's actually powerful. The Swim Jet X's AI inverter technology provides up to 3.5 meters per second flow speed. One unit adapts to multiple pool sizes, starting from 2.5 by 2.5 meters, and with up to 10 hours of endurance, you you can actually use it all day without worrying about power. Then comes iGarden's Pool Cleaner M Series, which is the first to receive DUV deep cleaning certification in the underwater robotics category. This thing looks impressive for a reason. Low profile, streamlined, almost supercar inspired, and built for proper deep cleaning. At the core of it is what iGarden calls a multi-dual architecture. You've got a dual camera 3D AI vision that recognizes debris, obstacles, and pool train. It measures accurate distance, builds a 3D map, and even sports 3D night vision so it knows exactly where it's cleaning. The dual force flow system is delivering strong suction that pulls in everything from leaves to fine debris. They also use a special dual grip traction system, four wheels plus two tracks, so it maintains grips on curved surfaces, steps, and walls ensuring full coverage of any pool shape. All that is fed into a dual-layered filtration system that captures large debris and fine dust without clogging. The wildest part is that it's got 20 hours of runtime on a single charge powered by iGarden's AI Inverter 2.0 technology. Next, we have iGarden Lawnmower L-Series and LAWD Series. This one is all about proper endurance. Up to 8 hours of continuous mowing on a single charge, which completely changes how long large lawns take to finish. The AWD system lets it climb 70% slopes effortlessly and it can cross obstacles up to 4 cm high without slowing down. Navigation is handled by smart LiDAR combined with AI vision, giving you a fast quick setup and precise obstacle avoidance. Simple, powerful, and built for serious lawns, not gonna lie, iGarden's products were super impressive at CES 2026. Next up, we're checking out Narval at CES 2026. Narval just set the cleaning standard at CES 2026. And their theme this year says it all. See further, think deeper, clean smarter. This is Normal Flow 2, which uses RGB cameras that capture over 1.5 million data points per second. That gives it clearer vision and much more accurate recognition in real homes. On top of that, it's got Narmind Pro Autonomous System. When the robot encounters something unfamiliar, it doesn't just guess. It calls on Narmind Pro Autonomous System locally to identify 
identify the objects and decide how to respond. That's like Iron Man level intelligence but for vacuum cleaners. Flow 2 uses adaptive obstacle avoidance for things like cables or table legs. For things like pet waste, it keeps a safe distance to avoid spreading mess. Cleaning strategy also changes depending on what it sees, dry versus wet debris, heavy versus light mess. Then there are tailored modes that actually feel practical. Pet mode automatically detects pet active zones. Baby care mode switches to ultra quiet operation near a crib, avoids crawling mats, and keeps play areas protected. And smart valuables guard alert you when flow to recognizes valuables, helping you keep track of important items. And it's not just robot vacuums anymore because Narval is also expanding into cordless vacuums and mattress vacuums, bringing the same standard of intelligent, effortless, and thorough cleaning to more parts of the home. This was everything from Narval at CES 2026. So next up at CES 2026, we're checking out Ugreen, and they're always doing something interesting. Ugreen is building a full ecosystem around what they call activating smarter life. So this is the Ugreen NAS IDX series, their new AI NAS. Traditional storage system is outdated, and that's where AI NAS completely changes the game. It helps you find, understand, and actually use your data. One of the big features is the universal search, where you can search across all your local photos, videos, documents, and files using simple keywords. Then there's Ulia AI Chat, which is basically an assistant that works directly with your own data. You can ask it to summarize documents, translate files, pull key points from reports, or even control playback all processed locally, not in the cloud. Literally everything stays private on device. Other impressive features include voice memos where you can record audio and the AI can transcribe it, summarize key points, and translate if needed. There's also AI album which automatically organizes your library based on people, pets, or objects. It's really impressive to see that Ugreen has innovated their NAS lineup to a whole new level. Ugreen is also showing their IPC security cameras. One standard feature here is cross camera awareness. When one camera detects activity, another camera can respond automatically, giving you seamless coverage across the rooms. It's a smarter approach to home security, not just isolated cameras. And finally, the power, because this is still Ugreen we're talking about. And this is the Ugreen Nexo Pro 300 watt charger, an 8 port 300 watt desktop charger that can handle serious multi device setup. I highly recommend you guys to check out Ugreen NAS IDX at the link below. Reserve with $30 and save up to $1,040. All right, so we are now at LG's booth here at the Central Hall, and they have a lot of display tech being shown here. So LG made a quiet but powerful statement with the return of the wallpaper OLED TV. This panel is extremely thin, mounts flush against the wall, and uses a zero connect box, so all inputs are wireless, no cables behind the display. It's got a ridiculous 9mm thin profile and features a new Alpha 11 AI processor for better image quality. Also, their booth looked incredible, but not as incredible as TCL's booth. Like, check this out. So, TCL is showing off their Super QD mini LED TVs that I already covered on my channel. I saw them back in November in China. These are extremely bright TVs with great colors. Obviously, they're going to be a little bit more affordable compared to other competitors. Plus, we also got to saw how TCL is integrating their technologies with smart vehicles. Okay guys, so we are now at Qualcomm's booth and they have a lot going on here. So these are all the laptops powered with the Snapdragon X2 chip. So these are all ARM based um, and they have a really good battery life and AI integration. Behind this glass, they're also showing off a concept car, a Snapdragon concept car. Looks pretty interesting. Now along with all the usual stuff, Qualcomm shocked everyone when they showed off their comprehensive robotic architecture built around the new Dragon Wing IQ10 series processor. This chip is aimed at powering everything from personal service robots to industrial autonomous mobile robots and full-size humanoids. Like yes, we are actually entering that metrics era where Qualcomm is now designing AI-based super chips for robots. Now next up, Lenovo showed off some really exciting stuff. They had a lot of their latest laptops on display, but by far the most exciting one was the rollable OLED laptop that physically extend the display when you need more workspace. So the screen on this gaming laptop can expand horizontally from 16 inches to 21.5 inches to even further all the way up to 24 inches. 
They tested this rollable mechanism for about 25,000 times. Uh, right now, there's no release date for this laptop. So it's merely a concept right now, but very likely we'll see this tech coming out in the future. All right, guys, so I am now at Afila's booth, which is Sony and Honda, and they have a massive booth here. So this is the Afila One, which uh, is Sony Honda's first advanced mobility vehicle. So it has self-driving capabilities, a lot of sensors, radar, LiDAR. Um, this car is packed chock full of tech. Um, so delivery start this year, they're taking pre-orders um, and there's also showing off another new model. So this is the Afila prototype um, for 2026. Uh, this is one of their newer, newer models that they're showing off. Um, it looks different than the Afila one over there. I love the color. Look at that design. Afila uses technology to recreate those qualities while using less from nature. Now speaking of robots and cars at CES 2026, Hyundai presented the H Motion lineup as part of its vision for future mobility and AI driven robotics. We basically saw robots that are designed to enhance efficiency in logistic operations. This made it seem really, really efficient. And my favorite robot, which was designed to enhance the parking experience, like this is something we truly, truly need. The Edge Motion lineup includes an autonomous parking robot capable of precise vehicle positioning. Like the way it was moving the car was actually pretty insane. Not gonna lie, something like this will truly going to put the valet business out of commission. And while on the topic of robots, we have to talk about Boston Dynamics. Boston Dynamics showed off their Atlas robot, which was actually named Best Robot in the CES 2026 award. The reason behind this award was simple. This robot actually had the most naturalistic walking, as well as a very sleek, futuristic design. Along with this, they showed off their robotic dog, which looked pretty agile, like it can move pretty fast and even climb things efficiently. Not only that, the sensors on the thing was actually pretty responsive to human interaction. So now we're at Neurologics booth where they're showcasing a longevity mirror. So as you can see in the display over there, um, you stand in front of it, um, it scans you and then tells you some things about your health. So let's check them out. Um, it was able to tell my pulse just from looking at me, which is very cool. Um, overall, it looks all green, so that's that's cool. So we're now at Gooby's booth where they're showcasing all their latest lights. So this is what they call an Edison bulb, but modernized. So you can see it has like a tungsten filament looking thing going on in there. But that looks so cool and retro. So my favorite is the gaming pixel light, which looks really cool. So you can put all sorts of you know displays on it. That looks really nice. I think it's a cool addition to a setup. So this looks really cool. They have this like house model going on that shows all of the different types of lights that Gooby makes and how you can integrate them into your house. Like tree lighting, Christmas tree lighting kind of situation, the living room, you can see miniature like TV lighting and stuff like that. Um, and if you move over here, that's the gaming setup. That's my favorite part. Look at that. Have the floor lamp over there. Look at how cool is this one. It has a nebula projection up top. So it's gonna project on your ceiling. That looks really trippy. So this was everything cool that Team ZTK was able to check out at CES 2026. Let me know what you find the most interesting in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.